Let's start off with some jalapeno poppers. Let's throw on some pot stickers too. <laughs> Hi friends, hey welcome back to the Expeditionary Johnny channel. Well hey it's a new month so it's time for a new challenge for the Camp Challenge Alliance uh, and this month we are doing outdoor cooking. Now, as you might recall the rules are pretty simple. Either try to take a meal, come outside and cook it or if you can't get outdoors then use your outdoor equipment and you can cook something in your house or on your back step. The whole point of this is having fun and let your minds go wild. We're trying to set these challenges up to be one, be fun, and two, variable enough that we're gonna have a lot of variety here. Right? So no matter how young you are, no matter how old you are, no matter what your skill set is, you can do something on these challenges. So uh, I think I've got something that should be kind of fun. So let me go ahead and get set up here and I'll show you what I got. So one of the great things about being alive today is, is that we have so many uh, modern tools that you can go out here in the woods and you can still have a fantastic meal. You can eat like you're at home or like you're at a restaurant. And that's kind of my goal today. I'm gonna to go for that happy hour feel just to get your minds to think, okay? All right, so it doesn't always have to be an MRE or, or a freeze-dried meal. No, you can actually cook up regular food. So what I've got is I've got a bush pot here and I brought out a bit of oil. Now, normally am I gonna bring that out? No, not unless I'm planning to have fun, especially with car camping or whatever. Uh, but for those short outings, you can afford to carry a bit extra. So we got a bit of oil. I got my thermometer. I've just got a little uh, canister stove here. You notice it's got a regular burner on here. So I could, it's going to uh, hold that pot, that bush pot, really nice. It's going to be nice and stable. So no worries about this. And then we've got our appetizers. So let's go ahead. Let's get uh, the, oil, the oil heated up. Let's make some food. So we are getting up past the 325 mark, heading up to 350. So it's time to start cooking some food. Let's start off with some jalapeno poppers. Let's throw on some pot stickers too. <laughs> And what are appetizers without? Cheese sticks.
Oh, let's have an egg roll too. <laughs> and while we're at it, let's have some chicken fried steak fingers. Mm -mm. Grab a cheese stick. Beef is looking good. So chicken fried steak finger. Yeah, I think we can call that good. All right, time to eat. That went really well. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Happy hour in the woods. All right, so let's start with our jalapeno poppers. Oh, wait a minute. Before I do that, you must season your food. A little bit of salt. Season it while it's hot, too. All right, so let's try it here. Jalapeno popper. Let's see if it doesn't burn my mouth here. Oh, yeah. Crunchy on the outside, that hot cream cheese in the middle, tastes that jalapeno. Mmm. Yum -o. Oh, wow. Yeah. Next, what else can we eat? Well, we got some pot stickers. Mm -mm. You seen me do those before with a just a little bit of oil, but hey, deep fried. Mm. So good. I fell in love with these over in Korea. Um, of course, you know, being outside of military base, plenty of bars to hit. On the way home, they had all these uh, pojang maja stands. It's where they would, uh, the old ladies would come out, and they called halmodis. They had a giant wok, they filled it up with oil, and they'd fry up pot stickers and stuff for us. Mm -mm. What else we got? Fried cheese stick. Oh yeah. Hot. Oh, that came out perfect. Mm -mm. How about um? Uh, how about our egg roll? How do we do our egg roll? Crunchy, yummy, oh absolutely. Last but not least, how about our chicken fried steak finger? Mm -mm. So good, so very good. So there we have it. Here is my contribution to this month's uh, challenge for the Camp Challenge Alliance. Remember, it doesn't have to be fancy. This is about having fun and being creative. Remember, the more creative you are, the more ideas you're sharing with other people. So don't feel like you have to put yourself in a box and be like everybody else. Be yourself. Have a good old time, okay? All right, so I'm going to sit here and I'm going to enjoy the rest of my, app my uh, happy hour appetizers here. And uh, I will see you guys on the next one. Take care now. Mm -hmm.